Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Cash Bright. Now this video is part 3 of our tutorial all about how you can get yourself set up on Redbubble. Now if you're new to Redbubble or would simply like to know a little bit more about it, by all means go back and watch parts 1 and 2 as well as our other videos all about the wonderful world of Redbubble. Now then, assuming you've played around with some designs and created some nice products, based on careful research and strategy of course, the next step is advertising. You know, you can have the best designs out there, but if no one out there can actually find you, you get what I'm saying. Now one way Redbubble helps artists to advertise is through templates. These are great for showing off your designs and can be used on websites, blogs, Facebook pages, Instagram, Twitter, you name it. Naturally, you'll want to develop your own ways of advertising too, but these templates certainly help you to get going. As you can see, Redbubble have helpfully provided quite a good variety of templates for you to play around with. Here you can of course select the template which you think would best show off your work to the public. Of course, these Redbubble templates may inspire you to create your own. For example, you could take a picture of a product you might have at home and then apply your design to it using image editing software such as PicMonkey or GIMP. So here I've taken one of the templates and I've actually opened it up in GIMP. GIMP is one of these free to use softwares and despite its looks, it's very easy to use. The software organizes the image into layers as you can see here and each layer can be activated or deactivated with the eye icon. As I don't really need this first layer, I'm going to delete it, like so. So this top layer is for adjustments and you can make them all disappear or reappear or you can target them individually. So here we have shadows and then the main design text, which is not what I need. So I'll take out the shadow and also the text. So we're just left with a white background, great. Next we have the colors and here you can select them individually. We have, let me just see, navy, gray, black, white, etc. And you can select and hide them like I am doing here. And it's up to you which one you want to use for your design. For me, I'm happy with just a plain white t-shirt. So that's great. So next, we will want to apply our lovely design to this t-shirt. And we need to add a layer. So in order to do this, we go to File and Open as Layer for the image. Now I have removed the background from the design simply because I think it looks better on the t-shirt and I've saved it as an XCF file because this file extension is the best one for using in GIMP. By clicking open, it will be opened as an image layer, like so. Now you may have noticed that the image is far too big, but not to worry. It can easily be remedied by right clicking on the image and then choosing an option which is scale layer like so and here is just a case of trial and error you need to select a ratio which you believe will fit the t-shirt in the proportion that is desired so if i just select this option here let's see how that looks now that's a bit too small so fine let's go back uh, right click uh, scale layer and let's choose a little bit bigger there we go. Now that fits much better. As you can see, let's have a closer look just by zooming in through the view option. There we go, zoom in. And you can just adjust by dragging it down, positioning however you think is best. And of course, there are two goals to editing this template. One is to show off your design as much as possible. But two, it's also to make it look as natural as possible as well so that it's believable that there is a guy actually wearing your design on a t-shirt. Once you're happy, the final step is of course to export it so that you can use it on your social media. To do this we go over here to file and here you can select the option export as and you can choose various different types of file format such as PNG 
which is what I've chosen. I've also selected the file name already. And so I'll click that. There it is processing, shouldn't take too long. And processing complete. Now let's have a look at it as an image file because it's now ready to be used on my social media. And I think that looks pretty good. Now I've already said, I think this design is a little immature, but still funny. And this template works very well because this is the kind of guy that I can imagine wearing my t-shirt. Definitely someone with a sense of humor, but also possibly somebody that's also interested in the welfare of gorillas or animals in general. So, you know, you can crop this, you can edit it further with other additions. It's completely up to you. And by spreading this image throughout my social media network, I can hopefully start to drive sales towards my Redbubble store. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please do leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And until the next time, stay sharp, stay hungry, and stay cash bright.